Hello everybody and welcome to another Houdini tutorial. Today we will be talking about the trace node. So what we're going to do first, uh, before we get into anything else, is just add some standard default lighting to our scene. I'm going to do that by adding an HDRI, so we kind of just see what we... We can just see something in our scene, and if we render something, we can see it. That's all we need right now. So we're going to add a Geo node. And something new with Houdini 17 is that oh, the standard default file is gone and it will save you a lot of time. Nice. So we're going to add our trace node. We're going to add our trace node. And as you can see, there is a circle. And that is the default file that will load when you add a trace node to your scene. So we're going to change that for something else. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click show images when I go and I look, choose an image. So I can see what I'm looking for. And I'm feeling a little bit hungry today. So I might look for some bacon. You know what? Let's make some flying bacon today. So what we're going to do is that you can see our, some holes in our bacon. That's not good. So we're going to fix that by adjusting our threshold. So by, doing, by adjusting our threshold, we can show more of our bacon or decrease our bacon. There we go. More. More is better, I think, in this case. So what I'm also going to do to my bacon is I'm going to add a filter onto it. And so I'm going to fit it to a curve. As you can see, ooh, we got some beautiful shape of bacon right there. Nice. So right now, to make some flying bacon, we're going to attach it to a particle system. So in order to do that, I'm going to first add a transform swap onto my trace. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to adjust the size of my bacon. So it's a little bit smaller, so when we attach it to the particle system, Houdini doesn't freak out and go, hey, what are you doing? Stop it. Um, so we're going to add a sphere of fear. And boom, we have a sphere. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So I'm going to turn that into a polygon. Yeah, let's go polygon mesh. And we'll add some rows and columns. And now we'll create our pop network. And when you attach a pop network onto your sphere, it will start randomly generating points all over your sphere. Wow, that's a lot of points, huh? So we'll dive right in and we'll delete this because we won't need it for now. Um, so, let's first get a rid of some of these points, because I think right now we have way too many. So we'll go to birth, and we'll adjust this down to 50. Pretty good. I like it. Nice. So let's add some forces. Let's add a wind force, and we'll plug it right below the pop solver. Uh-oh. Our bacon's going to go everywhere if we stick with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our scale force. And we'll dial that down to something like 25. So we get some flow in bacon. Nice. And we'll switch it over to real time so we can see the pace of our bacon. I like it. So... What we'll also do is I'm going to add some noise, maybe, you know, crank it up a bit, have some fun. Whoa. We're going to have some cool bacon going on. Look at that little wormy. I like that. Let's go with that. So now it's time to attach our bacon onto our pop network. So we're going to go to a copy to points. I'm going to go boom, boom, bacon. Beautiful. And we have some flying bacon. They look like little tiny butterflies, but deep inside we all know that they are bacon. It's very nice. And I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. My name is Kate, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.